No, it's very disorganized. They don't. They never inform students if your scooter was taken away. They don't even know what scooter was uh, was taken, like from which dorm. So I, I was supposed to like look at like 20 different scooters and say like. Maybe this one is mine. In terms of that, unless they're having like a guard stand outside and actually keeping watch, I think otherwise, like in that way, they're gonna have a really hard time like actually implementing that rule. I think in terms of like the building and stuff, people can report to the RAs and stuff. Um, so maybe not so much in the buildings, but maybe outside. I think they'll have a harder time implementing it. Yeah, I feel like with that for overnight. Yes. We're not allowed to sign in people like oh the opposite sex. Yeah. Because like there's so many like non like heteronormative people here. Like there's really no point in just something to that for like yeah. anyone. I find that really weird. But as for the violin booster, I think that it could be harmful to certain students. There's certain students that like don't have, obviously Fordham does supply it. There's certain students that don't have access. There's certain students who don't, you know, have a good reaction to it. And there's a very long process to getting it exempted. So um, I think that they should have looked into that one more. So I just think that Fordham doesn't take into account like all different like ideas and stuff when they um, mandate things and put out like, policies. I think that they just kind of do what idea they think is best and then force everyone to first their ideas onto everyone else. I think for the booster, for example, it wasn't really like an option. It was like, you have to do it or else you're going to get kicked off the campus. So. I find it really weird that we were, I think we're one of the only schools that I know of at least that required like two booster shots. I feel like that could have been something that's like left up, left to like our own like personal decisions. And I also find it really weird that for, to sign guests in, to McMahon especially, they won't allow guests without like two of the booster shots as well. I got an exemption because, I mean it's, it's, it's against my religion. Another thing I don't really like is how they gave us an ultimatum saying that you won't get, you won't, you won't be allowed to enter campus. But they don't really know, like a lot of international students have nowhere else to go. And I think that's really unfair. That leaves the students with no choice. That's what happened to me with the first booster. Because I was living on campus and I had nowhere else to go, so I was forced to take it. But the second one, I already moved out, so I was just like, I'm not going to take it. So I got an exemption.